And welcome back to the Dungeon Roman Exercise. Yay. Now, the last time we left off, we finally got the boomerang. Ting, ting. Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay, that is fantastic. Now that we got this, we don't need those damn seeds to open those stupid doors. However, we'll still need them regardless. We can now take care of these a lot easier. Oh, you can take them out twice with a boomerang, that's handy. This will probably be an item used very frequently. Especially in this dungeon. Oops, that was unintentional. Uh, whereabouts is that chest then? Is it up more? Yeah, that looks like up more. Okay, I see how to get that. <sighs> Interesting way of doing things. Can't believe I missed it. Just a note. The reason why I swapped it for the boomerang, because you do not swing on this one. You do this instead. At least I think so. It looks about right. Yeah, I was right. Oops. Let's try this again. This is just trying to get you used to the fact that these aren't to be always be used to swing on. You can sometimes have to climb up them as well. There we go. Uh, yeah, the reason why I kept the leaf out is because I'll probably most likely need it. Or I might not. But let's see. Okay, maybe not. Gimme. And we have another droid pendant. I just cannot get enough of these. Ah. Alright, how to go in here. Alrighty then. All of these things, no trouble. Just get out your magical boomerang and target the crap out of all of them. Oh, whoops. Oh. That could have gone better. And there we go. Hooray! And if you look, we're on a room higher up above the previous one. Oh, nice for that. Oh yeah, and to uh, just sort of put you back in the know, the little ball things are called morph, and the things that keep spitting them at you and coating you in their heavy essence is called Mophula. And the bo sub boss variant is literally just called Giant Mophula. So there's that little uh, idea out of the way. Alright, now that we're back in here. Notice how we're uh, up in the higher upmost room. Let's make use of that now. Um, there we go. Ah, splash. Such a nice little puzzle. However, now that we have done this, we can also enter another room. Don't worry, Link. I'll never let you fall. Oop. We can now also go in here. Alright, this is where it's introducing us to another sort of puzzle. Ow. The boomerang is very useful for doing things like that. Thank you. Get off me. And we get another joy pendant. 
You can keep it in your spoils bag. Get off me. Oh, wrong way. Oh, actually, I like the map as well. Get some of my health back. Right. Now that we're here. Yes, yeah, it's probably one of the easier boss rooms to get to. However, there is the problem that, well, just don't have the boss key. So we'll have to go get that now. But first, I want to get this sorted. That's not quite uh, doing what I hoped to do. There we go. Now uh, we'll just keep that open for later. Rolling, rolling, doing lots of rolling. Okay. Now, try to remember the boss doors there. Whee! Oh yeah, if you're wondering how the hell you're supposed to get back up, pretty easy. There we go. Not too difficult. Die, P-Hat. You don't belong in this world. I also can't seem to hit him with a bloody boomerang. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of them now, because they're really annoying. Oh yeah, naturally the boomerang could also collect items. Probably should have mentioned that at the start. Okay, another new sort of enemy-ish thing. Uh, if you enjoy your magic meter, these guys enjoy it more. They will latch onto you and seep your magic away. You can't kill them. You can cut them off, but they'll just grow back again. And they are quite annoying at later times when you have items that require magic. We only have the Deku Leaf at the moment, so for now it's not too bad. Oh yeah. It's easier on yourself if you just get the chest now. If you really want your yellow rupee, of course. But you never know. Let's do this the special way. Why I can target it, I don't know. I'm not sure why I was moving slowly to the right, but okay. Did that break it off at least? Yeah. Okay. That's something at least. Okay. Now then. That's pretty much for the route back, by the way, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, the Deku Barber's greatest weakness is a boomerang. If only they were that useful in Ocarina of Time. Okay. This is just basically the seed chart that we need. Or rather, I need if I want to do this 100%. Go away. I don't need you slowing me down. And sorted. Right, the idea here, pretty self-explanatory. We need to drop a hole in that uh, room there. Not too difficult. Now, I think it's possible, but I believe you can take off bombs by just using the leaf on its own. No, you can't. Oh shit. No. And that completely messed. Come back here. You're needed. So if we just leave that there, should be able to throw it in. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Let's just make our life easier and then jump straight in. Just a quick, simple puzzle. 
Yeah, when I said you got to go on the route back, it'll actually lead to where the boss key is anyway. It'll basically return to when we first saw those little platforms with the morph there things on. Can't even remember what they're called now. Come on, let's go. Huh. And that's pretty much it for this room. Ah, oh, what? Really? I need to do all that again. Die. Okay. Idea of this, pretty simple. And if you're wondering why I can do this, because on the map I would clearly be able to do this just by swimming. Uh, there's a platform at the end. And the only way I'd be able to get there is, of course, doing it this way. Ow. Oh, I love the boomerang. It is a little bit OP. Okay. And we'll just ignore all that. It's not important. Okay. Little puzzle here. We have these light things all over the place. We need to, well, pretty much light them all up. So, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Simple enough. Later on, there will be a lot more effort put into those. And we now have the boss key. Or big key, rather. I prefer calling it the boss key. Oh, look at that design. So magnificent. So now we have to deal with two of these. Wah! Ow. This is why the boomerang's a little bit OP, though. If you ask me, I personally think these things are more dangerous without their weapon. And sorted. We can now escape. Usually, I think some people would have about five hearts maybe at this point, but I'm not going to be properly starting the little quest until I got some sufficient items, in which I'll be exploring the sea to much greater depth. Now, I think there was a grappling point somewhere up here. Yeah, there it is. Eh. We Ah, oh, you are kidding. Just when I thought this was going quite well. You just have to fuck it up for me. Come on, Link. Move your little stubby legs. Okay. Let's try this again and not suck. I'm falling for that again. There we go. Way. Whoops. Uh, and you lot. Mush. <sighs> boomerangs. Very useful. If only boomerangs worked this well in real life. Yes, I do know that they if they are still used for. Uh, doing basically what I'm doing now, but they work nowhere near as much. And up we go. 
Ooh. Okay, that was cutting it a bit close. There's a door. This dungeon wasn't going to be as long as I thought it was. Hmm. Pretty much run out of things to say now. So we just got the boss. Da -da 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 -da. Nope. We are not quite doing it yet. There was still that one chest I forgot. And I apologise, but if this is going to be a 100% walkthrough, even the littlest chests are worth it. Well, probably not. Wee. Get off my chest. Sure, you know I'm just gonna open it and run. Knight's Crest. Okay, now that we got the second Knight's Crest that can be found in a chest, I do believe. Oops, wrong button. That about does it for chests. Or not. Hmm. Alright then. What I'll do is, I will snap to the places where these uh, chests are and pretty much cut off there. Well, what I'll do is, I'll cut here and skip to where this chest is. Otherwise we'll just be roaming around here for ages. So, as soon as I get back up here, I will see you in the next part. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <sighs> this could be going a lot better. At least these things restore your magic. I think that's a very good idea. Mostly for people like me, because I keep screwing up too much. Fantastic. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay. Uh, first chest we missed, over here. Basically, just use the leave, da 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 da, wait until you get in a bit, and then open the chest. Hooray, red ruby! Oops. And then, next part! And the next chest, basically, same room, but you just need to scale up a little bit higher once you get to the door. If you jump in that seed, then that seed, and that seed is just to get out. Uh, you need the boomerang in order to get into it, though. And I believe this is the second treasure chart of this dungeon. Hooray! We got the treasure chart. Okay, now that we have everything in this dungeon, we can now rush over to the boss. And I will be seeing you there. Alrighty then, we are now at the second boss. We pretty much only need the boomerang for this stage though. So let's get going. Oh, I still love that design, it's amazing. And there's good old Maker in the centre of the room, yay! That was easy, no boss fight. Oh wait a minute, it's a plant thing. Piranha plant, the De Deku thing. Nah, it's not. Pretty simple boss, this. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of people know its name because Wind Waker doesn't tell you the boss names. But if you really must know, it's Kalidemos. Or Kalidemos. But I think it's Kalidemos. Okay, basically, idea. Run around the room because it's go going to twangle these little tentacles at you, or vines rather. But when he's finished doing that, use your boomerang to try and chop these up. Oop, bloody camera. Whoa. I do like the music for this boss though. It's quite underrated. Ah. Yeah, well, this is one of the more underrated boss fights. Ah, shit. 
Ah, fuck. I can never get out of this thing. <laughs> Probably doesn't help because I screwed up. But yeah, you pretty much get the idea of it. Ouch. Yeah, I fell right into that. Ah. As usual, my playthroughs are much better when I'm not wasting my time trying to talk about it. But the strategy is pretty simple and basic for a boss you need the boomerang for. Ouch. Can I... Damn it, I can't reach that. Oh dear. He's getting his tentacles back. Why does it keep bouncing off? Stop that. Ugh. This is taking far too long now. Pack it in! And then we want to get out. Yay, I did it for once. Give me hearts. Sorry I'm being a bit quiet. I'm so used to trying to concentrate without any form of talking at all. But there's that done. Second boss, Kalidamos, defeated. Dang. Hooray! We killed a giant plant! Luckily, if you are caught in the middle of the plant thing, you'll end up talking to this guy anyway. Ah, Has he got a job to do? Ah, bloody thing. And we have our second heart container. There's not a lot of heart containers in this game, but considering every island has something interesting on it, eh, it doesn't really matter. This game is pretty much made to the brim of heart pieces. It's kind of like how Minish Cap is. Quite another longish video, this one. But that's better for you. And besides, I like getting these dungeons done in two parts. One part getting the dungeon item, second part getting to the boss. It works very well. Oh, Maker, you have returned safely. Oh, what a horrible cry. <laughs> it's funny because beforehand he said he would give it to you after the ceremony. Now he's given it to you before the ceremony. Cheeky tree. Now we have Farrell's Pearl. Hooray! Or Farrell's. Pronunciation is very horrible in this game. <laughs> now, funny thing about Maker, he is very skilled at playing a violin made out of a leaf and stick. Alright, oh, this is actually very important. And I love the music. <laughs> very quick ceremony, but I like the song. And then Link is like, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> this will create a mini side quest for later. 
I'll be doing that before heading off to the last dungeon. That will basically be Great Sea Travelling Part 2. And the one after the Forsaken Fortress will be Part 1. But it will probably be about three episodes of me travelling the sea collecting shit. But we've still got more of the story to go to before I get to that stage. And I believe it's actually frozen, as usual. But anyway, I suppose these mark decent points to close off. So I will be seeing you next time.